the fee isn't reduced or if you're, you don't get more funding from the provincial government to be able to pay more, like, what, what do you do? <laughs> well, actually, I, I don't even want to go there because I, I think it's ridiculous if they keep that fee in place, especially for someone who's disabled and is on age. Like, how are they supposed to pay that fee? And in my husband and myself, our case, we're retired, we're pensioners, we have a limited budget as well. It's, it's very difficult to keep coming up with a thousand dollars for a caregiver and and you lose a thousand if the person doesn't show up which has happened to me <laughs> so um, it's not fair and I don't think it's targeted at um, caregivers for handicap but they have just covered everybody what if um, like what about the suggestion of of putting Tim in a home Oh, I, 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 there's no way that I'd ever do that. It's, um, it's not a place for a young person. Uh, Tim would never improve, and, and I'm still trying to get him improved. And um, he would just deteriorate because uh, there's, there's no real care in a, in a long-term care facility. It, they just do what's necessary, and they wouldn't be there to help him. If nothing changes, and I, 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 the government makes it more difficult to find care, um, I suppose I'll have to cross that bridge when I come to it, because right now I don't know. I'm, I don't like to think negative, so I'm thinking positive. I don't want to be um, thinking that that's going to happen, and Tim would be devastated, so at least here at home he has some quality care, and that's important for, for anyone, and especially a younger person.